President Yudhono of Indonesia, Prime Minister Thomas of Grenada, Prime Minister Gilead of Australia, Prime Minister Spencer of Antigua and Barbuda, Vice Minister of Colombia, Chairman Sabakawa, Chairman, Excellencies, Delegates, and Participants. It is an honor for me to be here today among so many prominent leaders of island communities and champions of sustainable development. This event is indeed a celebration of commitments which we started more than seven years ago in Mauritius during the small island states international meeting on sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, the Global Island Partnership is an initiative of the President of Seychelles, Mr. James Michel, and the former President of Palau, Mr. Tommy Remeng Gusso. With the support of IUCN, GLISPA has been able to develop a small secretariat to champion the cause of island nations and in the year 2008 was recognized by the Convention on Biological Diversity as one of the mechanisms to implement the Island Biodiversity Program of Work. The role of GLISPA has involved working with island leaders and organizations on strategic initiatives aimed at strengthening action on critical issues and supporting leadership. As part of our commitment today, I wish not only to express the Seychelles government's heartfelt appreciation for the work being carried out by GLISPA, but also offer additional financial support to the amount of USD 10,000 annually for the next three years. The government of Seychelles remains fully committed to the work of GLISPA, especially with the recent appointment of Ambassador Jumo as Ambassador for Climate Change and Small Island Issues. Our second commitment relates to another partnership which will touch the lives of all of us. I believe we all know that many threats that we are affecting our oceans today, and therefore I firmly believe that these can only be overcome if we come together. So it is with great pleasure that I announce Seychelles' commitment to the Global Partnership on Oceans, and I wish to invite everyone present to also join this important initiative. Thirdly, I wish to report back on the progress we have made in implementing the Western Indian Ocean Coastal Challenge, an initiative that was also called for by President Michel in the year 2007. The WIOCC covers an area rich in biodiversity with some marine experts ranking it second only to the Coral Triangle. The WIOCC has now received funding from the European Union and with the support of the Indian Ocean Commission Island Project, the mobilization of the WIO country level engagement and commitment to move forward the Western Indian Ocean Coastal challenge to build a common vision and regional strategy that addresses climate change impacts on coastal and marine ecosystems. 
the defining of roles and responsibilities of the WIOCC platform members and other stakeholders to advance common objectives and priorities and the consultation to develop the WIO Coastal Challenge has begun. Last but not least, I wish to also announce Seychelles' commitment to a debt swap for climate change adaptation initiative with the support of partners such as the Nature Conservancy. If Seychelles could raise 2,500 US dollars per year for climate change adaptation, it is prepared to engage its debtors and subject to successful negotiations, commit up to 30% of its marine territory as protected area with 15% designated as no take zone. It is important to note that Seychelles has already committed over 50% of its terrestrial area as protected area. Excellencies and dear friends, let me conclude by stating that now is the time for bold decisions. If we have to have the kind of future that I know we all want for our people. It is imperative that countries, large or small, work in partnership at the global level for one common cause, that is to create a better future for our people and the next generation while maintaining the integrity of our Mother Earth. Thank you for coming and thank you for listening.